Hey everybody, Professor Steins here, and today I just kind of want to talk a little bit about Open Broadcaster software. It's called OBS. You can get it from obsproject.com. Uh, basically, it's a free desktop recording and sort of used for streaming and video recording. Uh, today I'm going to kind of walk you through. So when you first come out here, choose the appropriate version for whatever type of computer you have. And it takes a little bit to set up, but once you get it going, it's a pretty much... Um, good deal. So after you kind of walk through the installation process, when you first open it up it's going to look a little bit something like this. It might be a little bit daunting but what you're going to want to do is start over here in scenes. So you'll have a scene created over on the left. You might want to just like right click on it and go to rename and give it uh, a, a starting scene. So I, I named my first scene lecture and the goal that I want to create is to put uh, record my desktop which has my PowerPoint on it and then um, you know maybe add a camera and the microphone so once you got your first scene kind of renamed the way you want to make sure it's selected and under sources you can add different types of sources so if you hit the little plus icon down here you'll be given uh, a lot of different options to start with your desktop you can just click on display capture uh, and this will kind of give you an opportunity where you can create sort of a new display uh, to choose from. Now, I just kind of go in with the defaults here. Uh, technically, I have two monitors on my computer. Uh, display 1 is my left monitor. It has my PowerPoint pulled up and ready to go. Uh, display 2 is the one that I'm actually using to uh, control OBS and that we're recording. And right now, we're having this weird looking down the hallway look. Um, strange recursive function uh, but this is the one that we want to capture on display one so this will give us uh, that desktop over here and kind of as I move around I'll be able to kind of control that on my other computer but once you kind of got your desktop on there uh, you can go to plus so really all that is is just the desktop you're also going to want to include an audio in input capture uh, for so that um, you can record some audio and once we click on that, um, it should pick up your microphone under Add Existing that you have already. So you might want to go ahead and just select that from there. You could also just go to Create New if you wanted to get a little more specific and choose which device it is you want. It's probably likely that your camera is going to have a microphone. Uh, however, I'm using a headset right now, so that's my headset. I'm going to use this one as well so that when we start using OBS to record, it'll also record the uh, headset mic. Usually a headset mic is going to get be a little bit more clear. Uh, I typically find that the the, cam the microphones on the cameras um, are not quite as good as when you use a headset. So just a little advice there, but you might have to use whatever you have. Uh, once we've added that one and we have it selected, we'll be able to see the microphone levels and so you can kind of see where I'm talking right now and it's got the microphone levels there. Being somewhere in the yellow range is pretty good. You may need to adjust the slider if um, that's the case so that you know, you're you not overpowered or if you're underpowered. And there's some settings that you can uh, do to increase uh, that, that if you need to. Uh, if you want to add a camera, you can also do a plus sign here for a video capture device. And so I do have a camera that's also plugged in right now. I'm going to go to Create New, and this will bring it up. And so this is me. Hello, how are you doing? Right now I'm looking at my right monitor, so uh, it, it looks like I'm not looking at you, but I'm, I'm looking at OBS and how it's set up. So you can uh, add that as a scene if you like. Uh, that video capture device that's actually going to put it on my record screen here and you can kind of move it around and resize it if you need to so that it uh, doesn't kind of overlap. Again, you know, you don't always have to use a webcam if you don't feel comfortable getting yourself recorded. Um, you know, I, I understand that, privacy issues and all. So anyway, we kind of got our, our basic uh, lecture set up pretty ready to go. Um, we'll be able to kind of step through our labs. We'll have the our, our PowerPoint slide will also have our little overlay of our picture. And so the scene is pretty well set. Uh, if you want to get a little bit more fancy, one of the things that you can do is also create maybe a second scene. So if you create another second scene, I'm going to call this one full camera. Uh, that way, if you really want to emphasize what you're talking about, 
when you have full camera selected, you can just add another source, go to video capture device, uh, add the existing one that we created in step one, and then just kind of create it so that it fits, um, it fits what you're trying to do um, into your screen. Uh, might end up cutting stuff off, but now we're full screen, and it, on the here we can kind of switch back and forth if we want to go to that monitor, or for some reason we want to switch to just the screen for this. Maybe we want to open up a new PowerPoint or do something on our left monitor that we don't want seen to the students. Um, anyway, uh, let's get started with trying to do a recording. So what I might suggest doing is going to settings over here on the right first and just taking a look in here. Uh, a lot of the default options in here are going to be okay. We're not really worried about streaming at this point. Um, for output, one of the things that you want to make sure that you keep a note of is this recording path because as you record your videos it's going to save a file. And so I might suggest go ahead and copying that path out and then going to um, you know my computer where you can open up a folder file explorer and going ahead and just putting in that address um, that way you'll know kind of when the videos pop up in here you'll be able to get them out pretty easy uh, I also ha already have an OBS settings folder I created this myself so if you don't have one you might want to just right click and create new create you an OBS uh, underscore settings. You don't it doesn't have to be exactly named that. Um, but when you come back to OBS, one of the things you want to do is, is save this. So I would make note of this. A lot of the other defaults here are okay. So we'll just um, hit cancel. We didn't actually make any changes. If you, I would also suggest up here at the top for profile um, to do exports. So once you kind of got this set up where you have your recording going, you've, you've probably tested this a couple times, uh, go ahead and do an export and look for that OBS folder uh, in, that you created here and save it as a name, um, whatever you named it. I called it StreamLeft, but uh, that's you want to kind of export uh, your profile and export your scenes. That way, if you ever do come back to OBS and something's messed up, you can just come right back to imports and try to pull those settings out, and hopefully you'll be good to go as far as this goes. Um, anyway, I, I think we're pretty good, so we're going to hit uh, start recording here on this, and then I'm going to look over at my left-hand screen, and this is where your actual lecture would begin. So you you talk about the the to, uh, fact the topic and this was my for my dissertation defense I just did it yesterday Tuesday um, and th and things went well I got the signatures so I'm on the I'm on the path to uh, finishing out this semester but anyway you would go through your PowerPoint slide do your recording and then back in OBS when you're ready to finish it you would hit the stop recording button uh, over here like so. Uh, it, it's not. It, I wish it was a little bit more intuitive like that, but after you've hit stop recording, if you go back to your videos folder where this was stored, you'll see that here's a recording. It's got the date and timestamp from when we created it. Um, one of the one of the, and that's it. It's not quite done yet though. MKV file is kind of specific to OBS. And so when you're ready to distribute it to students or, you know, I might suggest uh, actually uploading it to YouTube and then distributing the YouTube link to students. Um, we, um, if you need a, if you're not familiar with uploading videos to YouTube, uh, maybe we'll do another video for that. But MKV, this, uh, this file type is not um, good for most people. So we need to convert this to a format that's a little bit better. So. What I might suggest doing is once you, you're happy with this recording and you're, and you're pretty good with it, um, call it what you're going to call it. This is lecture one uh, dissertation. You know, can give it a, a fairly good name for it. Uh, and then in OBS, you'll want to come back up to file where Remux Recordings is at. And, and under Remux Recordings, you'll be able to it'll give you a list. Uh, I had one there from last time where I was testing things. But what you'll want to do is just drag this MKV file over to the left-hand side. And then over on the right-hand side, it's actually going to have the file name there um, that you created. So Remux, 
it's been done. Uh, the things are good. And so the MP4 file is one that you'll actually want to either upload to YouTube or upload into D2L. Uh, and then I'm going to look over at my left hand screen and this is where your actual lecture would begin. So you, you talk about the, the, the uh, fact that the topic, and this was my for my dissertation defense, I just did it yesterday, Tuesday, um, and, and things went well, I got the signatures, so I'm on the, I'm on the path to uh, finishing out this semester. But anyway, you would go through your PowerPoint slide, do your recording, and then back in OBS when you're ready to finish it. Yeah, so that's pretty much uh, how it works. So once you got the MP4, you're pretty much good to go. This is where you can, this is the one you'll give to students or upload to YouTube and um, and do pretty good. Um, anyway, this was kind of a video just to walk through OBS, how to do maybe a, a little bit of a simple d uh, desktop record so that we could kind of get into the online mode, I suppose. But hopefully this was helpful and um, have a good one. You might, you know, be prepared to kind of tinker around a little bit. All right. Bye.